so he hit you? Yeah. Okay. You okay though? Yeah. Just don't forget your cameras are rolling. Nightcrawler Media. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler Media. Nightcrawler. 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 Nightcrawler Media. Nightcrawler Media. Nightcrawler Media. Nightcrawler Media. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I will be posting more videos in the near future you don't want to miss. You guys are not going to believe what you're about to see. This video has everything. This video has a high speed police chase and crash, rogue cops putting the public in danger, corrupt government pretending to be press, sheriff's deputies lying to the public, sheriff deputies lying to each other, the city of Aurora unlawfully hiding police activities in public, a dozen cops standing around with thumbs up their butts and calling it an investigation, officers manipulating body cam and dash cam footage, honestly I don't know where they find the time, police brutality, first amendment retaliation, first amendment suppression, self-parking police cars, unprofessional and deranged city cops belittling an innocent passenger, possible false attempted murder charges, a police victim becoming a cop watcher, and that's all in one incident. So, I don't even know where to begin. By the way, this one's for you, Joe. I guess I'll start with the whole reason why I found out about this incident. It all started at my kitchen table one Saturday morning. I was flipping through Facebook and I noticed a post from the Kane County Sheriff's Department. It kinda caught my eye, so I read it. Long story short, a couple nights before, there was a police chase throughout Kane County, and it ended up with a crash in Aurora. Now the way that they painted this picture didn't add up. Something wasn't right, so I started reading closer. So then I sent in a couple FOIA requests. One to Kane County, and one to Aurora. I requested all the body cam footage and dash cam footage from both departments, and copies of all police reports. Now what caught my attention was, in their little story online, the Sheriff's Department claims that a deputy was traveling in the opposite direction of a car that was going over 90 miles an hour and after passing the suspect, turned around and ended up at the next intersection behind the suspect and then tried to pull them over. So you have to ask yourself, if one car is going 90 miles an hour you pass him and turn around. How fast do you have to go to catch up? Well, as you'll see in the body cam footage, officer claims he was going 78 to 80 miles an hour. How in the world can you drive 80 miles an hour and catch up to a car that's going over 90 miles an hour? And that's just the tip of the iceberg and all the lies that these officers tell throughout the night. Now here's what I got from my FOIA requests. After receiving an email saying that they wouldn't give me anything, I received 55 files that had over 24 hours of footage, mostly muted and missing holes here and there, totally manipulated by the officers and even missing an entire file from the sergeant on the scene that would have captured one of these deputies kicking the passenger in the head. I got a PDF of the traffic crash report from Aurora and I got five heavily edited body cam videos from Aurora Police Department and I got no police report from Kane County that's right no police report because this was all done off the record in a rogue police chase that put citizens at risk and in danger of course the sheriff reported to the public in his little press release that there was no traffic at the time but if you watch closely you can see of all the other cars passing by but don't take my word for it see for yourself let's get into the video Kane County Illinois 
August 12th, 2022, 1.30 a.m. There is no footage of the alleged traffic infraction because the deputy did not turn on his camera within 30 seconds. This chase started around 1.30 in the morning and it's a pretty low populated area. A little bit west of the city of Aurora and there's a lot of farm fields around here. Now about 8 minutes into this chase, Rajkowski goes on the radio and asks for permission to use deadly force. These deputies claimed that the driver was swerving out of his way and trying to go head on with the other deputies, or even trying to hit them as they stood on the side of the road. What I see here, the deputies pulled over on the shoulder and got out of their cars, put spike strips in the oncoming lane, and the driver successfully avoided the spike strips by going into the oncoming lane, which was his only option. And I'm not defending what this driver is doing. What he's doing is wrong. But I think it's disgusting that these guys will put objects in the road and then cry about the driver avoiding them and almost hitting deputies. The driver was later charged with attempted murder. And as you can see here, this driver that's a nobody, I don't know, maybe he played his Grand Theft Auto, but he's making a fool out of these deputies. Driving around in circles, downtown Aurora, and they can't catch him. That was not a self-parking deputy's car. He left it in gear when he jumped out. Too excited to pull out his gun. Forgot to put it in park. Discretion is advised for this next part. Good luck America would have a field day with this footage. He's really good at pointing out when, when cops pull their guns out, point them at you, and order you to do one thing, while another cop pulls his gun out and orders you to do something totally opposite of the other cop. This is very dangerous. No matter what you do, the cops can do very bad things to you and get away with it. Now, as you can see here, the driver is face down on the ground, four officers on his back, pulling and twisting on his arms. He seems to be complying, but they're still struggling. The passenger is up against the car, being handcuffed and patted down. One of the officers starts leading him towards the cars, and the passenger just starts walking towards the police car, thinking he's going to be put in the back of the car. But this one aggressive, coward cop decides that he needs to get this guy on the ground 
because his buddies are having all this fun pig piling on top of this other guy. This cop just walks away. At some point, the passenger gets kicked in the head. More on this coming up in a few minutes. Get your hands, get your hands, get your hands. Oh, What's that? Oh, I took him out right here at the intersection. So he hit you? Yeah. These guys yeah. lie so much, they're them? like yeah. little robots. And they don't know when to turn it off. Deputies! Notice how the sergeant pulls everybody to the side. Make sure their body cameras are rolling, but they're far enough away from the suspect's car that they can't see what the Aurora cop is doing over there. So I was Cover off. Orchard. Okay. That, that car was, was coming 95 mm -hmm. past Orchard Surrey. It took me a bit to turn around, so I stayed like 78. It's 80 going on orchard, kind of watching. I saw a little bit of weave through traffic, and he turned on baseline. I did not even have my lights on yet, and he blacked out going down baseline. Okay. So I turned my lights on. We were going through the neighborhood. There was no traffic. There was no pedestrians. He was sliding around intersections like doing donuts. We got back out on the orchard. Montgomery finally got with me. And, uh, uh, Let's get Notice the yeah. sergeant's body cam is definitely on, but we don't have the file. Head on with him, like yep. full bore, because he was gaining speed on me going towards Knutson. Really fucking well, go at that point, I, I parked uh, just uh, east of Gordon. And then he went head on with me. I got on my squad, I was going to lay down the spike strip, and he went head on with me to the point where I legit thought that I was going to get smoked. So I ran away from my squad towards the field. I saw him going towards the field, so I. I did it was okay. I mm -hmm. did. After being thrown on the ground, the passenger gets the attention of officers walking by and asks them to find his missing property. This is Aurora PD body cam footage. Hey, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. What's going on, man? My headphones got dropped off. My piece right there on the grass. Your piece? Yeah, it's almost that one. Oh, that's dude. Oh. I'm not worried about your headphones right now. I'm not worried about that either. I'm oh, okay. About okay. All right. I think you said his piece is in Okay. <laughs> that's what I thought. Okay, let's go, Doug. All right. All right. Go, my boy. Okay. Hey, just relax. We'll be right with you, okay? Don't worry. You're getting the best service tonight. So professional. Let's cut and lose. Okay. I can take him back. No charges. Yeah. All right, man. Good news. Um, you're gonna be cut loose without charge. Okay. How do you want to get home? You walk. You sure? Okay. Can't say no. I know. Can I get my property home? What property yeah, do you need? My phone, my wallet. Let us get it because that's still an active crime. So All right, go for it. 
Yes, I went off. Whenever the officer came behind me, he kicked the fuck out of me. He took my ball. <laughs> yeah, I want to know who the fuck kicked the fuck out of me. I don't know, man. I, I don't was the dude with a beard. I was on the last one. be this dude right here. Hey, bro. Can I get your name real quick? Me? Yeah. Can I get your name? Are they off? Are they off? Right here it appears that Rajkowski is having a mini mental breakdown or he's just panicking because he realized that he can't review his footage to figure out if he did anything wrong. Yeah. I'm still up to center. You right there? Yeah. So I got on. I was lucky none of you guys are dead, so. Dude. Same here. I legit died. Don't review anything either. I'm not. Because of the deadly force stuff. Yeah, no, I, I'm not. I, uh, I legit 100% thought that I was going to go. Like, I ran behind my squad, and I started running away at an angle from my squad. I was like, dude, if he hits my squad, like, my squad's going to move in this direction. Yep. I was like, I'm going to run. And, and he, was, he was accelerating towards you because I, he was gaining on me yeah. from... Because I was, I was parked, I parked at an angle, so he had to go in that direction. Yeah. Dude, I've never, and in this job, I've never been that scared. Yeah. But I, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I authorize it when they're doing 90 miles an hour at our deputy. Most of the body cams were either turned off or muted by this point, so it's going to be a few seconds before we can hear what's going on. Basically, this is Eric, the passenger in the car. After he was released, he went home. He got a ride to come back so he could redress his grievances with his government. Now obviously these cowards are going to cry and say that they're in the middle of an investigation and they don't feel safe with this guy holding a camera so close to the scene. What they do next is absolutely disgusting. I'm right here. You come over here and talk to me. We're recording too. And he came back and he kicked me. Are you serious? I hope I have no idea what happened. We all have body cams. So our body cams. So when you guys hear the lawsuit, you guys get a lawsuit. So our body cams will show. Hopefully, because I don't see that on when he came back. And you can leave. Okay. All right, we're gonna get in the court. We're gonna get in the court. You guys have a good night. 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 <clears throat> well, I hope he puts APD on his lawsuit. <laughs> like oh, he's gonna, oh, he's <laughs> gonna <laughs> stop. He's gonna stop. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I ran this place. Get him, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Hold on a second. These guys turned off their dash cam, went speeding through town, blowing through stop signs, not using signals to catch up to a car full of innocent people. Isn't that the whole reason for this mess? The justification to turn on sirens and lights and go blasting through town with 12 police cars at high speeds, and these two cowards are going to do the same thing, except yep. with no consequences. Watch yourselves. Is this them? This is your typical blue line. Sovereign citizen, hard at work, with your tax money. Okay. Okay. Al. Hey, careful. I had my camera on. So, they came back just yelling at us and, I, yeah, with a passenger and somebody else. So then, when they left, I just made sure they stayed around. We're just going to block the whole intersection now. I think we're good now, but they, they got out and they were... Thank you. Sorry. 
I mean, there's enough of us here, but you, we don't know how many are going to come. You know, two came, and then now another load of cars comes. Or... Okay, thank you. Let's just leave our camera yeah, for yeah. We have them. Recording. Recording. Wait a minute. I wasn't going to go stop. I just wanted to make sure they left there. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to stop on. So, so did I. I was like, oh. I got into my car. And yeah, see, it was like, oh, I guess I would have a... Nope, land of 28. So if you saw me... <laughs> when they went out... An intersection. True. When they went out, I sat down here until they passed. And then I went down and passed again, and that's when I came back down. I wasn't going to stop. And we're not going to cause that problem. That's just another headache. Yeah. And of course, our hero, the sergeant, comes back, makes sure everyone's body cams are running so he can give his little speech. I wasn't going to stop him, I just wanted to intimidate. Just don't forget your cameras are rolling. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Phone numbers will be down in the description for the sheriff's department and police department. I also have links for the full uncut synchronized aurora body cams uncut synchronized kane county dash cams and synchronized uncut kane county body cams just in case you want to see this whole thing beginning to end and exactly how much these cowards manipulated the footage see you in the next video Mark on the ticket, there's a subject out here with a high power video camera. I'm not suspicious, I'm mysterious. There's a difference.